Well, if you're a Hibernian fan, it's not often a team like PSG um, comes to town. It's not often you get to face Messi, Neymar and Mbappe. But on this occasion, we find ourselves doing just starts. It wouldn't be easy for sure. It wouldn't be easy for sure. First of all, I don't know how we qualified for Europa League. But even more surprising, I don't know how PSG got knocked out of their Champions League group to, to find themselves in the Europa League. But they're huge favourites for this one, aren't they? They're huge favourites. And they've got um, Ruiz, Pereira, Sanchez and Vitinha. Looks like they're taking it easy on us here. And Mbappe starts though, and that's um, ATK playing behind him. It's one of those um, diamond and midfield formations. They've got Mendes, Marquinhos, De Vrij and Hakimi. We are back to that starting eleven. Of course, so much trouble in the Europa League for some of the some of the so-called big teams. It's that starting eleven that started both games against Dortmund and started the first leg against PSV. But let's see what we can do here. Well, that's a big news, isn't it? Marshall there considering retirement our goalkeeper. That's something you should be having a discussion with me first, though, before putting it out there in the media. Oh, referee! Referee, that's a penalty. That's a penalty, surely. I'm gonna have to look at this. Oh, he got there first, didn't he? He just nicked the ball first. Corner here. PSG are gonna go short. Mbappe coming short to get it. No surprise. It's not the best of headers, Mbappe. Oh, Ehaho, this he passed the view there. There's the space out wide. Come on, on the counter. If we want to score the goal. It's got to be like this. Oh, what a save. What a save. Mbappe there, him, sluggishly, giving the ball away from the corner. And we nearly made them pay for that. It looks like capable of scoring a goal in this game. It's Paul Hughes to Cardin. We've been the better team here, you know, the first 23 minutes or so. Come on, go back to him. Back to Tilio on that left third. On that left foot, on that left foot, it's Marco Tilio. Oh my god, this kid is sensational. Messi doesn't start this game, but that is a finish he will be proud of sitting on the bench and watching this one. What a finish that was! Marco Tilio against one of the best teams in the world right now, one of the best teams in Europe. I tell you what, the teams are definitely scouting him. What a finish, man! That's the best one he's done all season. I don't think he's got a better goal. Whenever he cuts inside to that left foot, it always signals danger, I've got to say. But that time, though, the timing, the care, the, the finesse, to, to perfection, really. And what a finish that was. PSG are beginning to do their stuff now, aren't they? They waited for it. It's like they're giving us a, a head start. Oh no! Mbappe, hey, what a save! What a save! That's the pace that I've been worried about all game. The first time it's hard to use that. Ah, one last ball there, man. Herrera, is he gonna get close to you? No, he isn't. Oh, I still want it back though. Herrera into Vitinha. He's done well to get in front there, Fiverr. It's a little scrappy right now. There is the pace again. Oh, is that Ekitike? The young, the other young striker. They've got two ridiculously good strikers. Both of them fairly young. And um, Ekitike here. I think he's younger than Mbappe, isn't he? The, the young French striker. They, they only signed him last season, earlier this season. I'm not too sure, but that's a good finish. Oh, it's been blocked. We are just barely, barely hanging on right now, which... Oh, look at this. Look at this, Vitinha. He's managed to somehow slow that one down. Jesus, man. How did he manage to slow that one down? Don't get me wrong. Pfeiffer is not slow at all. But if he just, if he just decided to go for it there, I don't think even, even as quick as Pfeiffer is, I don't think he'll be catching up to Vitinha there. But for some reason... He just completely slowed down. Slow day at the office. That's the best way to describe it. He was certainly slow in that occasion there in number 17. But we, we've somehow taken a draw into the break, you know. So if you, oh, 
could defend and if you said to me 60 minutes into this game we will hold PSG to a one or draw tell you what I would have snapped your finger for that it's a hard horn it's a good ball boy a little ding oh it's been cleared off the line it's been cleared off the line Kowal though couldn't keep it alive oh my god ever since we scored the first goal we have barely had a sniff in this game but all of a sudden there we've almost managed come close to getting the second goal oh my god i'm talking too much here oh pfeiffer you absolute it's mbappe vitinia mbappe is dropping so deep in this game he's the one making things happen though almost also playing that messy role oh he's almost playing that messy esque role or neymar esque role in that he's not the number 10 but he's most often dropping into that position Ah, uh, that's danger. Neymar is coming to the game in the final um, 18 minutes here. That is not good news for us. But Kevin Nisbet um, coming on. Josh Campbell as well replacing Kyle, Kyle McGuinness in that midfield. We need a little bit of legs, especially with Messi. What Messi with Neymar in that team right now. We have to pretty much defend better. Renato Sanchez to De Bruyne back to Marquinhos oh my god we have been so solid defensively don't get me wrong and PSG have got a few one-on-ones here it's a good ball cool inside he played the pass yes you can to Campbell oh it's out wide Marco Tilio you know what I'm gonna do cut into that left foot it's in again it's in again Marco Tilio oh I suppose we can class that now into the one of the left foot category. What a finish! One of the left foot. We, we we can we can say that now, surely, with confidence that we are not just hyping him up. We can score two goals like this against Taylor Navas in goal. He's not. He's a very good goalkeeper, you know. I don't know which is better, the first or the second. Oh my God, that is just sensational, and we could be taken. A 2-1 advantage here going to park the, the France for the second leg. Who would have believed it? His two goals this in this competition. Classic. Come on, stick to him. Stick to him. He can be tricky, Neymar, we know. Yes, Sully Bello. He doesn't want to be here, Neymar, does he? He doesn't want to be here, Neymar. Kevin Nisbet. Is this a goal that could kill the tie? Kevin is PSG has been sent packing here. Still got the second leg to go though. But what a scoreline. What an unbelievable scoreline this is. Taking a 3-1 advantage to PSV's ground. It's not going to be easy. But I would rather be in this situation than be in a different situation here. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have just done it again at home. We've talked about this all season. Needing to make Easter Road. Needing to make needing to make our home ground a fortress. And we have done this fantastically well this season. We've still only lost one game in our competition. And that is our second league game of the season against against Hearts. And ever since then, we have never looked back at home. It doesn't matter who we play at home right now. We've got the confidence that we can at least make something happen. We can at least make life difficult for teams at Easter Road. And long may that continue. Can we hang on? It's not too long now until we go into that second leg. But we have got the game against Ham St. Johnston in between, which it makes no sense to play our starting 11 for that game, right? We've already won the league. The league's no longer important. We've got a 3 1 advantage going to Park the Prance against PSG. Oh my god. These are looking to get an early go here, I've got to say. It doesn't help either when you're trying to play out from the back like that. And giving possession away. Don't get me wrong, as oh no, I was just gonna say, don't get me wrong. As much as this game is not too important to us compared to our next game, the second leg against PSG, I still want to win here. I still want to do well, but we have conceded the first. 
Come on, at least take the draw. At least take the draw. At least take the draw. I can see that coming from a mile. They have dominated most parts of that second half. It looks like we are going to suffer a defeat here away from home for the first time this season, you know. Come on. Don't make it three, lads. Don't make it three. Good defending. Oh my god, I can't believe who we're hanging on. Look at that! Not many teams have dominated us like that, you know. 66% possession, 8 shots, 5 chances created there for the home side St. Johnston. The good news though is we never got to use that bench. And we can have those players fully fit, ready and prepared for our next game there against PSG in the Europa League. This is just one of those wow moments, isn't it? To think... We are one game away from progressing to the semi-finals of the Europa League. Considering the teams that we have faced so far, Roma and is it last year there, one all on aggregate. Let's just remind ourselves um, the results from that first leg. Inter Milan has got a 4-2 um, advantage going into the second leg against Rennes. You've got Tra um, is it Trabzonspor against Olympique Marcel there, one off from the first leg. Of course, we've got the 3-1 advantage. We're going away from home this time though, at Parc de France. Neymar still not started. They've gone with um, Solar, Ruiz, Sanchez and Sarabia, Mbappe and that Bearcart as the two strikers. Guerrero replaces um, Mendes in that left back position. The, and the right in Pembe, Hakimi, I think, with the exception of Guerrero, okay, and Rico in goal, that's another change they've made to that back four. I'm not quite sure though, but for us, it is exactly the same starting 11 doing the job for us right now in that competition. It's huge for us, you know, the fact that Neymar is not starting. I don't, I can't even see the bench, which is the thing. I'm not sure if, if they've still got Messi in this PSG side, but we saw Neymar come off the bench, which it's a, it's a big surprise. Oh, I get not starting the first leg. They, they might have, you know, they might have thought that they could go with a, a wicked team. I say wicked team. They've got players worth hundreds of millions of pounds in that starting 11, and we still manage to get the results. So, yeah, it is a wicked team, but compared to our team, it's no, no, there are no mugs, are there? But anyway, oh, good defending. Back to keeper. Get it out. We will have to pretty much defend for 90 minutes in this game. Ashraf Hakimi, oh, he took a little wobble there, didn't he? Mbappe, the little slip. No, no way. What? What have you done, Pfeiffer son? What have you done, man? What a time to let us down. It's been sensational this season. I feel bad. I can't even criticize him. That's how good of a signing it's been. But what a moment to make an expensive error like that. Oh my god. No way, man. No way. Pablo Sarabia. I think he's joined Wolves in real life, hasn't he? Gets his first in two games here. Nice 10. Oh, get it out then. Out wide. First time. Come on then. Let's run, Marco Tilio. Let's run. Ah, oh, Guerrero has got the pace. But back to that left foot. He can cause damage. He can cause damage from that left foot. We saw it a couple of times in that first leg. That was close. That was so, so close. Oh my god, that's just, that's agonizingly close, isn't it? It's end to end stuff here, you know. I'm not sure who this favors more. Definitely PSG, by the way, with the pace they've got going forward like this. The run of Mbappe. The shot's blocked from Pfeiffer. No way. And Ruiz makes it 2-0 for the home side. He's not having a good time here, Pfeiffer, is he? That, that normally, on a different day, that would have been an excellent block. Look at this. But it just fell kindly there for Ruiz. Who, of course, he's never going to miss from that position, is he? This could be 4, 5, 6, whatever PSG wants it to be. So unfortunate though, winning 3 1 in the first leg and two goals they have scored on a different day. First one, complete error. Five for this time, doing better there. First goal, complete error. Second goal, huge deflection. Where is he going to fall to? Of course, a PhD player. 
Kowal is finding himself with a little space here, man. We haven't had too many opportunities to go forward in this game. Into a Hahon. Boyle. Oh, come on, Boyle. It's been so good for us this season, but I've got to say, the last two games, it looks like if Marco Tilio is not scoring for us, it doesn't look like we're capable of getting a goal in this game, which... Ah, it is going to be the end of the first half. We are still in it. If it finishes like this, I don't know if um, away goal counts, which I don't think it does. So if it finishes like this, it goes into extra time. <laughs> oh my God. I still think we can get a goal in this game. I still believe we can get a goal. Hakimi there, who's had a good game from that right-hand side for PSG. Tilio. I'm waiting for Cardin to make the run from that outside. He's just not having it. I'm asking him to go forward. Here's Boyle. Ball to Cardin. A little pullback, maybe. Oh, I said there's a goal in this game. I said we're capable of scoring a goal in this game. And it's the Aussie Kowal. The Aussie has been doing it for us, you know, against PSG. I mean, the first game it was Tilio getting a brace. And this time it is Kuo, which just gives us that one goal advantage, I believe, in this tie now. PSG will have to score one more to be able to. Sarabia. Come on, stay tight, Mbappe. Don't let him. Don't give him the space. Don't give him the space that he's looking for. I was so threatened there with his pace. That I didn't even realize I've given him that much space to be able to. Of course, I give him that much space. He's going to punish you. I was, I was so threatened by his pace. I was backing everyone off just in case he decided to just, just push the ball forward. Oh, that's a poor goal once again. So you can see the BSG are back in the tie. Neymar now replaces Sarabia. He's been brought in ten minutes earlier than the previous game. Cardin, get it out wide, Tilio. Come on, make the run, boil son. Make the run. You've given us you've offered us nothing in this game, but I'm still keeping you on for that pace. You just never know when it's gonna happen. Tilio. Oh Mansveg is making that run over the top. Mansveg! Get in! Get in! And we've taken the advantage yet again in this game. Unbelievable goal, Marco Tilio. He's the one causing the damage here for PSG. He's just produced, he's just produced a typical messy performance, hasn't he? It's one one of the few players that's capable of playing that pass over the top like that is Messi. The last two goals that he scored against PSG, Messi has kind of finish from that left hand side. Unbelievable substitutions, rushing up here. Um, Boyle gets a rest. Kevin Nisbet replacing him. Ehahon taken off as well. We need the legs in midfield. Ehahon is a more attacking threat with Broughton Kenny, who is a CDM. Uh, <laughs> that's a yellow card, isn't he? With Broughton Kenny, who is a CDM, and we have moved Mansveg to that box to box role. Gives us more defensive options in midfield to hang on to the game now. It's take what you have time, isn't it? It is take what you have time there. Ekitike replaced there, didn't he? He was replaced by, or oh, Ekitike replacing Ben Cards. Oh, yes! It's game over now. It is game over. Oh, what a performance. What a performance from that man, Marco Tilio. The cross there, I think it was from Cadden from that right hand side the first time he's had the opportunity to go forward in this game and he's produced a good cross there to Marco Filio here we go look at so much space there that's how much players PSG committed forward to get that goal that could have kept them in the tie what a game what a game looking for the goal and in on the other end they have been punished they have been punished and it's the little team from Scotland, Hibernian, who looks like they will be knocking out PSG here. Good defending. Carlos the Giant Killers right now. We have been we have been beating some of the best of teams in this competition. That's it then boys. That is it. We get a 3-1 victory at home. 
and it flee all, flee, flee, draw away from home at the Parc de France. And we will be progressing to the semi finals of the Europa League. Who would have believed that Borussia Dortmund, PSV, PSG, you name it, we've got the better of those teams this season. Not sure though, there's a possibility of facing Inter Milan, Roma, or Marseille, I believe, in the semi finals. Who are we going to get? For now, let's celebrate. One game at a time, lads. One game at a time. We know we have won the league. We are now in the Europa League semi-finals. And we are in the Scottish Cup semi-finals. That game against Rangers, if we win that, we go into the finals of the Scottish Cup as well. And now, we have added Marcel to that list for the Europa League semi-finals. Six games left in the league. We've got Rangers, Celtic, Aberdeen. We have got Hearts and Dundee United to finish the season and then we can just we can then take our time to think about what's the best decision for next season. Should we remain in Scotland or should we look to go elsewhere? But smash the like on the video if you have enjoyed this one and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new to it and I will see you all in the next one.